I was just thinking it would be really nice to have a true I was just thinking it'd be really nice to have a Tool Pros podcast sticker on the header of my van. Wink, wink. HVAC with Stephen Rarden is sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. Of course, anybody else that wants to send me stickers, um, I can uh, I can get you my PO box. But um, this morning, I'm headed over to um, a couple of jobs for the friend that I had done the checkups for. I didn't talk about those a whole lot, I don't think. Um, They were difficult quarters. Trying to remember what day they were or whatever so maybe I can find that but anyway I'm headed back over to do another one of his properties and so as I understand we've got a no heat situation uh, one system and um, he's asked me to come out and take a look at it we'll see if I can get some video and we'll go from there. Stay tuned. As you can see, this air filter is pretty dirty. But uh, we'll see if we can figure it out. That unit is tiny. Good Lord Almighty. The other issue we have is that there is no back door. So, one, two. Six, 67. I think this tiny unit down here gonna be our baby but it looks like we're locked for the crawl space access and I've lost track of my bearings I'm pretty sure it's the fourth unit from the end, but it might be the fifth unit. So I'm going to see if I can find out if there's a key somewhere. And uh, we'll see if we can dig into this. We got the crawl door open. Had to pull the hinges off of it. It's amazing how many times crawl doors have got a lock, but the screws for the hinges are accessible I'm gonna see if I can dive in under the crawl space here and take a look at our air handler patient back there not the nicest crawl space but we'll deal with it before I bother getting the uh, condenser open water's been dripping on this access panel and I don't really want to get more water on it and actually cause problems just taking a drill and the Testo 770-3 into this crawl space I'm going to See if I can get back there by the unit. Not a stitch of insulation under this house. We got a ancient rood. It 
the lighting is less than stellar, but got a UEPB, and I didn't bring the right bit to actually get into this unit. So I'm going to grab that. I found the breaker tripped, and uh, reset it. It's probably an electric heat issue. Just sort of going on an assumption there. Never seen a unit quite like this one. Rude back when they used a tree for their emblem or something. That's pretty crazy. All right, let me get that air handler open and see what we got. Looks like straight electric heat with a positive pressure coil that hasn't been draining properly for a long time. Let's see what the amp draw is. Pretty sure I heard the heat strip kit cycling. Right now we're only showing one amp of power draw. But like I said, I'm pretty positive I felt or heard the auxiliary heat cycle. I'm not positive what the demand on the thermostat is. It was turn to heat and the fan was on let's just see what that coil looks like say I've seen worse. I think we're looking at a white wire for low voltage. There's the fan. I've got like eight or nine volts, but I haven't got the common circuit yet. fan relay that's my heat sequencer All right, let me see if I can straighten out this low voltage stuff and uh, confirm that the heat strips will be running or trying to run all right 
we got 43.9 amps draw jumping out red and W1 up here or red and white I think we may just have a overload based on what do you call it based on uh, dirty filter poor airflow I'm gonna take the cover off of my electrical box and see what we get for connections there don't see any discoloration and the breaker doesn't look like it's terribly old Let's see if I can tighten these lugs up very awkward situation here I can't really see what I'm doing Take this breaker out. Oh yeah, there we go. There's our culprit. I don't know if you can see the discoloration of those clips, but the back of the breaker has got a poor clip and that breaker is warm. Good Lord Almighty. Mm-mm-mm. Application. Well, rather than set this unit up to trip again, I'm going to recommend a new disconnect and uh, leave it off until that disconnect is installed. We're only asking for trouble. Evaporator coil needs a good cleaning. And we'll double check the blower capacitor here. Thermostat wiring back. That is a five microfarad capacitor. Should be pulled out and cleaned also. And it's reading 5.5. That's amazing. They don't build them like that anymore. Let's see if we can figure out the year model of this unit. We've got a KM. 
1179-1908 for the serial number. I think that's 1979. That's pretty crazy that a 1979 unit still has a capacitor that's holding on for dear life. Let's make our recommendation and uh, see what what he wants to do. While we're at it. We're gonna see what the condenser looks like. Try to get in there without having any extra water. Get on the controls. Capacitors ancient. Got some wasps here. This unit really needs to be away from the edge of the building where it doesn't have water dripping on it. I'm not going to try and dig into it with the condition that it's in. So we're gonna see what they want to do. Well, they went ahead and authorized the disconnect only at this point. So we're gonna change that. I've got the breaker off inside, though I'm not positive that it's properly labeled. So we'll double check voltage before we proceed. Once again, the thing that sucks is that the unit does not have a back door. So if I'm wrong and the breaker is not properly labeled, or if I'm right and the breaker is not properly labeled, I'm going to have to make a trip all the way around the building just to get to the panel box through the front door. Yep, and I'm wrong. 252 volts right here. So we're going to have to go down and around. And I'll be right back. We've got power disconnected panel box inside and I'm installing a non-fused disconnect since all I need is a means of power disconnect I don't need amperage control the breaker inside is actually the same size as the breaker that was under here which was 50 amps. I need to get my wires out of the way before I can... get to the other mounting screw that's here. Squeeze two wires into the same Romex connector, and my disconnect box is not going to mount the same orientation. I have to mount my box sideways. Looks 
like they fought it just to get this wire in here. Anyway. That's nice. Okay. this all fit. It's as hard as it is to get them out. I can only imagine that it was a pain in the butt. so I don't have loose parts floating around the truck too much. Some people say that HVAC is not fun either. So, what I'm going to have to do is mount this box horizontal like that. Since I don't have enough wire to reach all the way over, it should be a lot of fun getting that ground wire in there. Full size knockout. Yep. So I don't have to worry about keeping any of the rings. first one came out so clean, I'm anticipating that this one's going to be a nightmare. Just seems to be my luck. Got another room mix connector for that one.
Alright, now to see if we can prepare this wiring to uh, go into my box. Oh, that was just a tinge of my knuckle cracking. It scared me for a minute. strip this back a little bit so we have a little bit to work with. I think we're going to end up having to cut that back to get to wire that will fit in the lug. This one I feel like will be good enough without too much trimming. It's got a lot of extra wire on it compared to the other one. This seems like a exercise in futility because the sheeting doesn't want to come off the wire, but I made her work. Everything I need to reach on the line side. I think we're going to be all right. Loosen that lug enough. To get that fat wire in there. This big aluminum wire is always a pain in the butt. If indeed I am correct on that 1979 serial number, I believe that might be the oldest unit that I have put my hands on. Um, other than maybe a unit that I put my hands on many years ago in Ohio 
that was an old natural draft airflow system uh, with the gigantic 10 or 14 inch round pipes that came off of the firebox. Just kind of crazy. Um, but we got it back in. The camera died about the time I was in the middle of fiddling with that disconnect, so I didn't bother crawling out and running around the building just to go grab another battery. I'm not sure what else we're going to get into today, but if I do, I will hit record and we'll check in at that time. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And don't forget, you can use coupon code R-A-R-D-O-N at truetechtools.com to save 7% on your purchase. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. So I just got off the phone with a general contractor that is in the process of building a new home for his son.